afternoon, the princesses were getting ready for a ball. But things were going terribly wrong. Has anyone seen my dress? I didn't take it. Nor did I, but I seem to have lost my favorite necklace. And I can't find my earrings. Why do things have to go missing right before the ball? I've been looking for my dancing slippers all day. Eh, we're running out of time. I guess I'll have to go to the ball without braiding my hair this time. My hair pins have gone missing. I hope no one trips on your hair. Unfortunately, the ball was a complete disaster. <gasps> Several princes did trip on Rapunzel's hair. Jasmine wasn't able to dance. Cinderella had to wear an old dress. All the princesses went to bed disappointed and frustrated. And when they woke up the next morning, even more things had gone missing. I can't believe this! We've got to figure out who is taking all things. I'll stay up all night to catch that thief if I have to. All the princesses tried their best to stay awake that night. Only Jasmine could manage it. She stood out in the hallway, pinching herself so she wouldn't doze off. <laughs> what was that? Jerome! <laughs> Who's there? I must be dreaming. Wait, she's wearing my shoes. And my necklace. Snow, you scared me. More than that, that ghost, or whatever she is. Jerome. <laughs> You can see her too. I thought I was dreaming. The next day, Princess Jasmine and Princess Snow White told the others what had happened. They decided that they would go to the apothecary and purchase something to get rid of the ghost. <laughs> ah, princesses, you cannot be so naive as to think you can rid of a ghost with a simple powder or potion. But I've read many books about ghosts and hogwash. The only way to do it is to help the ghost find what she is searching for. I'm sorry, but I'm not giving up my dancing slippers, if that's what that ghost wants. <laughs> you silly princess. A ghost would not stay in the realm of the living just for some old slippers. Excuse me, 
Those slippers were designed by the famous Pierre Robles and... Oh, uh -huh. enough about your ridiculous shoes. A ghost always cries out for what or whom it is searching. That's it! Jerome! Jerome? Jerome? Jerome. Jerome. That's who our ghost is looking for. Please, madam, do you have something that we can hunt ghosts with? I do have this magic mirror that can show you a ghost's reflection. For a price! Whatever your price is, we'll pay it. I need those shoes back. The princesses bought the mirror and began their ghost hunt that very night. In the palace garden, they spotted the ghost of the king's dog. In the library, they saw a young girl ghost searching for a lost book. But there was no one called Jerome. Princesses? Uh... I think we're going to have to go to the graveyard. That's the best place to find ghosts. The graveyard? Uh, I, I think I need to go, um, what are my plants? Oh, it's midnight, Cinderella. Let's go to the graveyard, princesses. We must be brave. Graveyard, Jasmine waved the mirror around, hoping to catch a glimpse of Jerome. The problem was, there were so many ghosts. Listen for one that's calling out a girl's name. Princess Rose? Princess Rose! That must be him! He's calling for a princess! No wonder she stole our things and was dancing in the ballroom. She's a princess! Now the problem is, how do we get Princess Rose out here to find Jerome? I think I have an idea. at the palace, the princesses gathered their best shoes, mm. hairpins and jewelry. They placed each item on the ground leading to the graveyard making a path for Princess Rose to follow. Then they hid behind trees and houses and watched as the ghost followed the trail. When she reached the graveyard, she spotted Jerome dropping everything in her excitement. Jerome, my love, my darling, I knew we would find each other someday. Oh, that if a sorceress couldn't keep us apart forever. Oh, 
I just love a good romance. And I just love getting my shoes back. <laughs> 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 <laughs>